Hi, it's Chris. And I think Ryobi is missing out on a huge marketing opportunity. I think they need to have a solar charger for their Ryobi batteries and also think about putting together a power station. So I'm throwing out the gauntlet and I'm sh putting together a test system to show them what's possible. Blue Eddy and Jackery make some really nice power stations that can be solar charged. They're pretty expensive and the batteries are, can't be replaced and they only have a certain number of life cycles like 500 to 800 cycles and then you have to throw out the whole unit. So the advantage of a Ryobi battery powered solution is that you can use your batteries for all your power tools normally and then when there's an emergency like a power outage or a hurricane or a fire or something then you can use your tools to power your inverter uh, to power AC or you could just charge uh, your smaller devices with DC. With these portable solar panels you could charge your Ryobi batteries out in the field. So if you're on a job site or out camping you can just charge them right up. It turns out that I have over a thousand watt hours of Ryobi batteries. Be nice to use those for backup power. Let's look at what's required to put one of these together. Pretty much all the parts I needed for this project were available commercially except for a way to connect to the Ryobi batteries. So I designed this particular model here where this is where the two clips for plus and minus go. And then you need this, to be able to charge the battery you also need to be able to get at this temperature connector on the back here. So we have to load the CAD model into the Prusa slicer software and then it actually puts in the support material needed to 3D print it. We can remove the print from the print sheet. We can remove the support. We have the Ryobi replacement pin part and we're going to take the part and put it into the keyed piece here. Press it in. We have the little spring clip. Just going to slide in over this. Goes in the hole. We have a 1.2K resistor that's going to go between the temperature contact and the plus contact. We've installed the resistor and now we just have to solder it. We're all soldered. And when we put the block on, you'll notice now that the charger circuit's enabled and it shows you how many bars you have. As a test, we've got a 3 amp hour battery that's been depleted down to 2 bars. And we've set our power supply to be 21 volts. Up it down a little bit, it should be 21, there we go. And all we're going to do is take our clip, install it onto the battery, and you can see now that we're charging, and we're drawing two amps right now. And the voltage will eventually get up to 21 volts, and then there'll be no more current going in, and the battery will be charged. Here we have the system components before we install it into an ammo box. We've got the Ryobi battery with the clip that enables the charging. We've got a Victron solar charge controller. It's MPPT and it has Bluetooth to control the load and everything. We've got a DC to DC converter. Outputs 13.8 volts. We've got the solar connector that's an XT90 that goes to the panels. We've got an on and off switch for the regulated components. 
You've got a 13.8 socket that's 10 amps, and we have a USB pair of sockets. One's a QC3, and the other one's a C plus BD. Here we have the components installed into a Harbor Freight plastic ammo box. We've got our on off switch, we've got our USB ports, we have our regulated 13.8 volt cigarette lighter, and then we have an XT90 port that can be either hooked up to solar panels or into a power brick to uh, charge the battery and run things. We have a 9 amp hour, 162 watt hour Ryobi battery right now. We've got a DC to DC converter. We're using the gold standard of solar controllers. It's a Victron MPP 100 slash 20 and it has Bluetooth access via an uh, app on your phone. We have to go inside the Victron Connect app and configure it so that it will work with this voltage battery. It's a pretty sunny, windy day out. We've got our two 100 watt rich solar panels and we have them in series. You can see that even though we don't have full sun, we're getting 54 watts of solar and we're charging the battery at 2.9 amps. The system is charging the battery and running the inverter all at the same time. We've got two Renogy 100 watt folding solar panels hooked up in serial overcast today. We've got it hooked up. We're charging one 4 amp hour battery. We have our ISCO 12 volt compressor freezer hooked up to the Ryobi power station. With 200 watt panels, battery is fully charged and we're running the compressor directly off the solar panels. This is just my first prototype. I want to up the current to be able to drive the full 300 watts of the inverter and I want to be able to have an additional 9 amp hour battery and charge them all at the same time. I also want to mount the inverter on the inside cover of the MO box. So let's hope that we can convince Ryobi to come out with a new product for a solar generator or a solar power station. In the meantime, here's a how-to project. I'll put all the designs and the CAD models over on Thingiverse. Enjoy. If you like this project, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.